Hello everybody and welcome. In today's video we are going to be looking at the user INI file. If you work in an environment where multiple people work on the same job, you don't really want to change some of the settings on the model because they will be affecting everyone. To change that for you and you alone, you'll need to use your user INI file. You are going to start off by directory inside my applications and components and use it to open up my directory browser. In here, I can directly open up the user INI file or I can go and open up the folder where it's located. And this will automatically take me into the correct location. Let's close this and minimize it for now. Heading down to the menu on settings, advanced options. We can see here all our settings. First thing I'd like to do and the easiest to actually see a visual change is I'd like to change the background color. Now for this, I will be heading to model view. And over here, you can see I've got background colors. If you select these, you can of course go and type in, but in this case, we do not want to touch anything in this advanced options. Remember, Tecla works in order of importance, which is the model folder is the most important. Whatever settings you set in here will take precedence. Next to that is of course your user INI. After that comes your firm folder. Lastly, your environment. As you can see, there's nothing written in here. They've got a bunch of numbers and you can find this on Tecla's website just by Googling the background color. I'm going to say write to file and this is going to open up a text file with all of these stuff written out. In here, let's go look for color and that brings us to the color over here. I'm going to take these lines of code and say copy. Then I'm going to head over to my user INI file, add a new line, paste them in. Just take the space out. These settings are already in here. As you can see, they've got a REM in front. All that REM does is it tells Tecla, ignore this. So stuff like the explanation and of course settings you do not want to use. They're all located with an REM. Next, you'll see it says set. I will come down here. I'll add a set as well as a space to each of these. And the space is just to separate the command from each other. What I want to do after finding my correct color, I'm just going to paste it in here. Make sure that copy. I also would like to set my background color. Let's head back to this options text file. I would like say my black background is false. So I'm going to copy this command. I'm going to head back and say paste, but I don't want it false. I actually want my background black. Open up any drawing. You'll see currently the background is, let's close this, background is white. So if we head over here and we say true, all caps, it should now be black. Great, let's save this. Let's go and close the program altogether. Let's say open. And once it's loaded in, you'll see that I've now got a much darker blue background. I can also go and say drawings, open up these drawings. And that should give me a nice dark black background. Works great. This file can also be copied over to newer versions of Tecla. So if you've got a bunch of custom settings you like to have, just get them in here, make a backup copy of this file. You can just grab these settings from here and make it quite easy on yourself. 